hey guys welcome back to my channel so i wanted to give you guys a real time of what's going on with this impressions um vanity mirror i got the impressions vanity hey guys welcome back to my channel so i wanted to give you this in real time so i just got home my impressions vanity was delivered you can notice what is already wrong with it so as far as the light bulbs one two three four five of them work one was broken and if you I don't want to blind you turn this all the way up you see that they all come on so that's an issue I don't know if sorry my finger was in the way I don't know if anyone has had <clears throat> that issue with theirs but that's the issue with mine right now and this is the second one I received the first one I received all inserts and pictures had two huge cracks in them Um, one was a crack in the top right corner. The other one was a crack in the mid left. Corner. But I really enjoyed the mirror for the few seconds that I had it. And I contacted their customer service. I'll get into the different light bulbs in a second. Maybe that's another question someone that can answer for me. But um, yeah, I went ahead and contacted their customer service and their customer service was so good they replaced it. I got like a new vanity within five days but the one that I actually got was this one right here so I'm in my work clothes while I'm explaining to this obviously this is my my undershirt but this is the thing so the customer service with them was really really good if you can see on this right here these bulbs only illuminate when it's turned on I don't want to say the highest setting, but close to the highest setting. So I'll show you once again what I'm talking about. Where is this? There. Without blinding you guys, you see that? As I dim it down, only a few of the bulbs illuminate. See this one right here is not. These two are. So I send them an email. I get off of work late in the evening. Not really late, but... By the time I get off, it's like 15 minutes before they close. And then when I tried to call them, obviously, you know, when people are closing, especially in retail, when people are closing, close to closing, it's really busy and they don't have a chance to open the phone or answer the phone. Sorry. Um, I really like this Vanities. And I know when I contact them and tell them the issue that they're going to fix it because when I send the pictures of the crack, it was like no hassle. And it, the, the Vanity actually comes with insurance and a five-year warranty. So if you have issues, you can you contact them or you go through this thing called route insurance. They send you an email immediately after you um, purchase the vanity. You get an email saying, hey, you purchased this vanity, route insurance. I mean, you purchase the route insurance, I think, for like five bucks, five dollars, ninety five cents. And that email comes like immediately after your email, your order confirmation comes. So here's the dilemma. Like, what do I do? I, I really want this vanity. So I give them a chance and have them replace the bulbs and hope that the bulbs work. Do I ask for at least a credit for the inconvenience and I just turn the vanity up when not the highest setting, but midway when I want to use it? Or do I, because this is this is the process, when if, if it doesn't work out for you, FedEx will come pick it up from your house, but you have to actually rebox it up and this thing was i think 65 pounds or maybe even greater it it wasn't it wasn't light you have to box it out box it up set it in front of your door and then excuse me and fedex will come pick it up and like i said i got my this one in a few days i'm at like a loss on on what to do i just want to enjoy it i and i lost a nail when did i lose a nail Okay, that's what I get for my press ons, but I'll fix that later. Um, and I, I just, I just want to enjoy the mirror. So, the mirror cost. I got it on the Fourth of July sale. The mirror was after taxes and everything, five hundred and eighty four dollars. And normally, I think it's like close to seven hundred. It's the Hollywood Reflections Pro Vanity. And yeah, I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that. If you do not have an Impressions Vanity close to you, I think they have a few locations, one being in Southern California and I live in Central California, and there's an issue, this is kind of what you're going to have 
to deal with. You're going to have to sit. They will help you. They, they're cut. Like I said, the emails were polite. The customer service phone calls were polite. But as far as my luck with this family, I've watched several videos on YouTube. As far as my luck with this family, like I said, the first one came cracked in two places. And then now this one, I'm having the issue with the bulbs. So I don't know if that's just something so heavy being delivered and something being glass. I don't know if that is just the issue that I have to deal with or if I just send it back. I, I don't really want to send it back and get um, my money back because I, I'm actually really in love with it. So I'm going to see what they're going to do. I can follow up with you and let you guys know what they what they did. But I was going to do a video once everything was put together. But for people like on the hunt for one of these mirrors, I just wanted to give the, give you guys like my real experience on what I went through with it. And some people like they haven't had any issues like no no broken light bulbs, not a crack, not not anything. And then some videos that I've seen, people have had issues where they had to return it because there was a crack. Or some people just sucked it up. There was, I think I saw someone where the base had a small crack in the back and you couldn't see it and they sucked it up. Some people had broken light bulbs. They said, I just feel for like $584, like I shouldn't have to suck up like anything. I think that it should be, it should be perfect. You know, I, I'm not rich. So, I mean, it's not like, I can just say, okay, I'm just going to leave this like this and just ask for a replacement light bulb. My concern is even if they send the replacement light bulb, how come the bulbs do this? Like, why is this one on? Why is this one on? Why isn't that one on? Why aren't these on until I go? Where is it? Like that. Like, I don't feel like I should have to do that. Does that make sense? And then obviously there is the broken... Uh, not the, the bulb that broke that one is spaced right there but I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know I am mean, kind of disappointed I'm not even gonna lie I'm like disappointed because I was anticipating had a really bad day at work and then I got this and I was anticipating that this was gonna be here you know my husband texted me and told me that it's arrived like part of me was happy but part of me was like okay let's open it and see what type of condition it's in hopefully it doesn't have cracks like the other one and I'll be happy after that. So he didn't text me back at work. So I thought everything was good, but um, he knows when I get in my like work zone, how I am. So I think he didn't text me to tell me about these light bulbs or the missing bulb because he just knew that like I, he just knew that I'd probably be at work and it just make things like 10 times worse. So yeah, you guys wish me luck. Wish me luck. I sent them an email today. I got off of work like probably, like I said, 15 minutes before they closed. I sent them an email with detailed pictures because that's one thing they do ask for. Um, if you do get an impressions vanity and there's an issue with it, do not, I repeat, it tells you in the email, I repeat, do not throw away the box. Like when we reboxed the first one, it it was hard. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. It was super, super hard to rebox it because it's so heavy, but I did it. And um, we just put duct tape. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to get back in that box, get duct tape, duct taped and secured. And then after that, you send it back. And like I said, you'll, they'll send you your replacement. So I will keep you posted on what happened with this one. I hope to hear from them tomorrow. They respond really, really soon. If not, I'll try to call them from work tomorrow if I have time. And yeah, this is my impressions vanity, but I'm not going to dog the company out because like I said, um, their customer service has been great throughout this whole thing. And that's, that's my pet peeve. Like if you're a company and you mess up, that's one thing. But if you're a, cus a company and you mess up and you have bad customer service with me, like you're done. Like I, I don't even deal with you anymore. So anyways, try, let me go ahead and get out of my work clothes and take a shower, watch some TV and get ready for bed. Have a good night guys. Bye.